want to be really clear about this. I've never hacked a phone. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons why people hate Pierce Morgan. That's pathetic. You can track him, maybe not my. No, own no, no, no. See I'm, you later. I'm being. So Sorry, can't this do this. Ab- you wore those deliberately so people would notice, right? Well, I've never accepted pictures. they were fake. For this list, we're looking at the biggest ways this English provocateur has gotten on people's nerves. What has Pierce Morgan said that most peeved you off? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. His Campaign Against Meghan Markle Along with the tabloids he used to write for and run, Morgan has been relentless in his attacks of Duchess Meghan Markle. Discussing his animosity, he's bitterly recounted that he and Markle had a few drinks at a pub one night, but that she ghosted him after meeting Prince Harry. This vendetta came to a head when Markle told Oprah that she'd had thoughts about taking her own life and had experienced racism. He won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Morgan's response on Good Morning Britain was that Markle was making it all up. I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, that's a I wouldn't believe it if she read me a weather report. Some- he offered no real reasons and later stormed off set when he got called out by a colleague. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. Under pressure, Morgan left the program, citing, quote, freedom of speech in a tweet. Which is funny because he once banned Hugh Grant from his shows for speaking against tabloids. That's pathetic. You can trash me, maybe not my own. No, 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 no. See you later. I'm being... Sorry, can't do this. Number nine, his dismissive remarks about Olympians. While watching the 2016 Rio Olympics, Pierce was disappointed in how poorly he felt Team Great Britain was doing. So he took to Twitter to express his feelings, saying, quote, gold is all that matters. Always remember, if you ain't first, you're last. The tweet was not well received online, especially by Olympians, who accused him of being dismissive of the talent and determination it takes to qualify in the Olympics, let alone take home a bronze or silver medal. Putting his world-class trolling skills on display, Morgan tried to discredit the respondents by firing back that none of them had ever won gold. You can be second, you can be third, fourth, hell, you can even be fifth. Number eight, the Janet Mock interview. In 2014, Morgan had transgender activist Janet Mock on his CNN show to talk about her memoir, Redefining Realness. Tell me how you felt when you, when you actually were approaching the operation. Well, that was a that was a big step in a long journey, right. right? However, to publicize the interview, he made an extremely inappropriate and insensitive tweet. Mock took issue with this, responding, quote, I was not formerly a man. Please stop sensationalizing my life and misgendering trans women. Her followers also criticized Morgan. In response, Morgan apologized and, just kidding, he laid into Mock, calling her disgraceful and portraying himself as a victim. The tweets last night ignited a firestorm of abuse and vilification my way because you said I had sensationalized your story. To his credit, he did bring her back on for another interview, asking what he did wrong, but insisted all the way that he'd been horribly wronged. At People but, but, Magazine, but Janet, who worked as an editor, Janet, I understand not, that sensationalizing our stories entices people to look in. Number seven, his comments on Trump's travel ban. Mr. President. Great to see you. It's good to see you. How are you? Morgan has had a long-running relationship with Donald Trump, even winning the top spot in the 2008 season of Celebrity Apprentice. Uh, I'll pay a thousand each. You're a fantastic man. Thank you very much. Despite Trump describing him as, quote, ruthless, arrogant, evil, and obnoxious. It's really something special. During Trump's presidency, Morgan alternated between praise and criticism, ultimately deeming him, quote, mentally unfit. However, he did express sympathy with Trump's controversial travel ban. Again, playing devil's advocate here. While running for office, Trump had called for a, quote, complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States, and his Executive Order 13769 restricted travel from seven countries. There is no Muslim (laughs) ban. If there was, 80 off. Sorry. Hearing Morgan's reasoning, Australia's Jim Jeffries had a visceral reaction, as did many at home. Morgan would come under fire again in 2018 for an interview with Trump that viewers perceived as weak and sycophantic. You like being president? I do. I really enjoy it. Despite all the aggro that gets poured on you. Well. Some of which I have to say, as someone who likes uh, you and known you a long time. Number six, he despises Harry Potter. 
Pierce Morgan's comments on the Muslim ban attracted criticism online, notably from Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. Morgan retorted that that was why he'd never read the Harry Potter books. Just try to make sense of that. Morgan hasn't read a series of books that started in 1997 because the author criticized him on Twitter in 2017. This escalated into a Twitter feud in which Morgan claimed his published diary, The Insider, was better written. Rowling arguably won the debate when she posted praise that Morgan had written about her, which he didn't seem to initially recognize as his own words. But as if to rub salt in the wound, Morgan's son responded by tweeting out his love of Harry Potter. Oh my goodness, explain yourselves, both of you. Number five, his response to Black Lives Matter. Pierce Morgan has been a vocal critic of Black Lives Matter and frequently inserted himself into the conversation. In 2015, when activist Mark Lamont Hill tweeted that, quote, all black lives matter, Morgan insisted that actually, quote, all lives matter, and accused the hashtag of being divisive. Later that year, he also rushed in to make room for, quote, whiteness, when activist DeRay McKesson expressed his love for blackness. You could practically hear Twitter users rolling their eyes at Morgan's desire to be included. The following year, Morgan penned a column condemning Black Lives Matter as, quote, a well-intentioned idea that's gone bad. Funnily enough, though, in 2020, when Black Lives Matter gained greater support, he struck out against critics of the movement, offering his own breakdown of the slogan. Number four, the Iraq War photo scandal. Pierce Morgan's time as editor of the Daily Mirror from 1995 to 2004 saw the tabloid dive headfirst into a number of scandals. The one that got him fired came when he decided to run alleged photos of British Army soldiers abusing Iraqi prisoners. The photos turned out to be fabricated, and the paper was accused of endangering British troops for nothing. Well, I've never accepted pictures. they were fake. Despite this, Morgan refused to apologize, arguing that, quote, if nobody knows the provenance of these photographs, why should we apologize? Which, of course, begs the question, why publish the photos without knowing their provenance? Is there a Much statute of limitations on wrongful dismissal, Pierce? I don't think I was wrongfully dismissed. I think the Mirror were perfectly entitled to do what they did. Number three, his men's march idea. Troubled by what he saw as, quote, rabid feminists organizing a worldwide women's march the day after President Trump's inauguration, Pierce Morgan mulled the idea of organizing a men's march. He ended the tweet asking, quote, who's with me? Unfortunately for Pierce, there weren't many takers. Just people like Patton Oswalt waiting to troll him in a string of hilarious tweets. After the backlash he received online, Morgan backed off his poorly thought out idea. But that didn't stop him from finding negative things to say about the more successful women's march. Number two, his sexist remarks. The women's march wasn't the only time that Pierce Morgan has put his foot in his mouth when discussing women. I love hot clothes, right? I love it. Because you can't wear something They're like that and not pack. expect the public. What are you talking about? A pair, well, of trousers. Really? a pair of trousers. He seems especially preoccupied with how women dress. His more uncomfortable moments on Good Morning Britain include fixations on weather girl Laura Tobin's pants. You wore those deliberately so people would notice, right? I mean, and presenter Charlotte Hawkins' dress. It's just a dress. What? Come on, you're Honestly. wearing a It's not a dress, is it? Yes, it is. That's not a dress. That's just a dress. No, it's not. But his attention has mostly been critical. He's attacked celebrities like Susan Sarandon for what they choose to wear and called Jennifer Aniston a hypocrite for complaining about women being judged for their looks while appearing in photo shoots. Is it actually sexist for the company to say to you, we'd like you to look fantastic as well and to look glamorous and to wear heels and really set a kind of, yeah. whoa. Morgan has also defended the right of workplaces to require women to wear high heels on the job. Although he walked that statement back after trying on heels himself. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the phone hacking controversy. There's a reason that tabloids are also known as rags. But even given their reputation for inaccuracy, harassment, and underhanded tactics, the phone hacking scandal that embroiled Rupert Murdoch's British papers in the 2000s ignited outrage. When investigations revealed that the papers had been hacking phones to get scoops, Morgan's Daily Mirror was exposed as one of the culprits. This is a complete non-event as far as I'm, I knew nothing about this. It was never going to be a huge story in the mirror. In response, Morgan has said that he never hacked a phone himself, or told reporters to. But one of his own articles for the Daily Mail relied on information obtained from a private voicemail. 
There's also a clip of him from 2003 explaining how the practice works. If the celebrity hadn't changed their PIN code, yeah, the, right. you can access their voicemail. You can ac access their voicemail. As a result, few have been convinced by his denials. The story never appeared, but yet you right. paid him £100 without him even asking for it several weeks later. And your point? I asked the questions, Mr. Morgan. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.